Hey there, this is Mark from AmericanAeration.com and in this video I'll do a quick review of the Air Max PS10 Pond Aerator. This aerator is part of the Pond series line of subsurface aerators from Air Max Eco. We'll talk about some of the key features of this system. Also we'll discuss some coverage uh, capabilities, maintenance, and also we'll close out with some comparable models that you'll find on the marketplace that are similar to the Air Max PS10. The PS10 is made for aerating ponds up to one acre in size. Now this will vary depending on your depth and we'll get into more specifics on that in just a bit, but maximum size coverage will probably be close to one acre. It is powered by a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. This is an extremely reliable full-time operational uh, pump works great and has great depth capability overall air max is known for quiet operation they go to great lengths to keep the sound output down as low as possible and they do a very good job of that part of that is involving the poly cabinet that they use as well as vibration dampening feet and some other amenities inside but this cabinet is a great cabinet for airflow. It includes a exhaust cooling fan and on the intake side of the cabinet there is a port with a pre-filter on it which also helps keep the inside of the cabinet cleaner. Reliability index for us is around 8.5 to 10. Now to be clear the pump is a very reliable performer. We've had very few issues with those. Cabinets are pretty much indestructible the issue comes into play with their diffuser sticks. You'll notice that these include four stick diffusion tubes on a weighted base platform and the PS10 has one of those in the kit. But these sticks will on occasion, not commonly, but they will on occasion break off if they get hit by something and so Air Max has been very good at replacing these upon request. Um, it's really the only criticism we have of this system. Otherwise, it's been exceptionally good. And as long as Air Max covers the warranty on these diffusers, which they always have, you're good to go and can pretty much uh, have, have good confidence that you'll be taken care of should you run into the rare problem with this diffuser. Warranty on the system includes 10 years on the cabinet five years on the diffusers, and three years on the compressor. Getting into the specs on this system. The PS10, by Air Max's estimations, will aerate a one-eighth acre pond from three to five feet deep, a quarter acre pond five to nine feet deep, a half acre from nine to twelve feet deep, and a one acre coverage area from twelve feet deep or deeper, uh, depending on where the diffuser is placed. As with all of these subsurface systems, the deeper you can get a diffuser in a pond, the more pond area it will cover and affect increasing oxygenation and circulation throughout the entire body of water. The PS10 kit includes, of course, the silent air cabinet and the compressor, the quarter horsepower compressor. It also includes 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline and then the one four stick diffuser with a weighted base plate fittings and clamps are also included. Specifications on this pump, it is a rocking piston pump as I mentioned before, a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It draws 1.5 amps on 115 volt. 230 volt is optionally available for a slightly higher charge. You can basically expect that amp draw to drop in half with 230 volts. The system is very efficient as you can see costing under $10 a month to run 24-7. Output is going to be around 1.7 cubic feet per minute, which is good. And then the system has a 50-foot max operational depth. We want to talk a little bit about maintenance on the PS10. It's very minimal. As with all these rocking piston compressors, there's two points of maintenance that you want to focus on. One is the intake air filter. Depending on how dusty or dirty the environment that the system is in, this intake filter will need to be monitored and should be changed whenever it appears to be getting a little bit of dirt and build up on it. In some cases, you can go 
six months to one year. Airmax generally will suggest six months to one year for replacement to keep optimum output out of the compressor. And then from two, maybe three to five years down the road, somewhere in that time frame, all of these rocking piston compressors will eventually need to have a rebuild kit um, reconstruction done. This is simple to do, and all the manufacturers provide kits for this, but what happens is the seals, which are made of rubber, that are on the piston and some of the gaskets will wear down over time and what you'll find is a compression loss will start to happen. So the air output, the bubbling output out of the diffuser in the pond will either reduce or stop altogether, but the compressor will continue to run. When you see this happening, you want to shut the compressor off, go ahead and get the rebuild kit, and then using a few simple tools and maybe 20, 30 minutes of your time, you can replace these components in the pump and be back up and running again in good order. So comparable systems on the market that you'll see to the PS10 would include the Casco Robust Air 1, which is also a single diffuser quarter horsepower system. The Easy Pro Sentinel PA34, again, quarter horsepower powering a single diffuser. Uh, both of those include 100 feet of weighted airline. And then if you're looking for a dedicated solar system, the American Aeration Solar AA1 is a good comparable fit for this. So that gives a general rundown of the Airmax PS10 pond aerator. If you have questions about this or any other pond aeration questions, visit us at AmericanAeration.com. Happy to help, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.